Honestly, this all started from one email. Dear Philadelphia Eagles, my name is Patience Carter. I am a survivor of the Pulse nightclub shooting. Keep your hands up, come on. Anybody injured, anybody injured. Let's go. Despite being shot in both of my legs and held hostage for three hours, I am happy and living a productive life thanks to the support of my soon-to-be husband. My fiance, Alex Murray, lost his younger sister, Akira Murray, during the Pulse nightclub shooting. Alex and I fell in love in the midst of the shooting aftermath. We were both born and raised in Philadelphia, and it would mean the world to us to unite on the greatest football field on earth. Sincerely, Patience. Before the shooting, I felt like I was the strongest girl I knew. I went through so many things and I kept overcoming and overcoming. And then when the shooting happened, it was nothing I could do to bounce back right away. I was immobilized for months. I had to learn how to walk again. And I had nightmares every day. Once I got back to Philadelphia, I went back to my friend's house. And Alex would come over there all the time because it was his family as well, like his cousin and his aunt. They just lost their niece. The pain hit them just as much as it hit everybody else. So I saw Alex like every day. This is how I got to know Patience more. She didn't speak too much because she was overwhelmed. Alex just made an effort to talk to me. He saw that I was really closed off and that I was somewhere in a dark place. He could sense that. He was hurting too. And he still found that extra love to give to me during that time. The way we understood each other's pain, we couldn't find that in anybody else. Now we can grow together, figure life out. Anything is possible when we're together. It wasn't the best timing for us to fall in love, but somehow, some way, it worked itself out. Alex and I have been dating for a while, and then for my birthday, he took me to my first NBA game. When I get there, we start walking down towards the court. I get on one knee. It was amazing, it was amazing. I was just in complete shock. I was so happy. I don't even think I was able to get the word yes out. I decided to send an email to the Eagles explaining my story, explaining Alex's story and how we both found love in the midst of so much pain and so much tragedy. And the Eagles finally said, yes, we would love to have your wedding at the lake. Today, the Eagles invited us to Novacare for our Eagles training camp. Ready to get some reps in? <laughs> I've never been this close to the Eagles before in my entire life, so I'm excited to see how they actually get down. What? So much going on, and then all of a sudden, this guy walks over, and it just happens to be Deuce Staley. Hi, I'm Patience. Yeah, nice to meet you. Hey, hey, how you doing? Nice to meet you, man. Yeah. He gave us congrats on our wedding at the stadium. Got some, uh, some, some good memories there. Yeah. Some bad, OK, yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> with the ultimate memory, right? Deuce is just, he bleeds Philadelphia, and that's like a lot of respect to him on and off the field. Glad you guys came out today. Thank you. Man. Congratulations hey, again, though. You, yep, nice meeting thank you guys. You. Good luck to you. Right, thank, thank you. That was so cool. <laughs> <laughs> wow. How did he fit all of that hair under his helmet? <laughs> We had a couple boys. Yeah, we had a couple boys like that. I know Alex's dream was to be a professional football player. Alex once played at an all-star game at the link. That's how good he was. But he ended up getting injured. And his last experience on the football field was a really, really traumatic one. So I wanted his next experience on the football field to be amazing. I've been shying away from football for some years now, but it brought a good spirit back out of me to see that. There is no relationship between a city and a team like the Philadelphia Eagles and the city of Philadelphia. It's like no place else. 
The Philadelphia Eagles are Super Bowl champions. Oh. Eagles fans oh. everywhere, this is for you. Super Bowl champions, we are winners. You want to talk about underdog? For 52 years, y'all have been waiting for this. <laughs> Being an Eagles fan, we're loud, we're aggressive, we love our team. I just love it. So that's what you used to do? What? Not that. That's grown man work. <laughs> that's grown man. Grown man work. Grown man work. It didn't really sink in that we actually had to plan this really huge wedding at the link until we came here for a walkthrough for the first time. Wait, I gotta go deep. I gotta go deep. No! Oh, it was a bubble. It was a bubble. <laughs> They're gonna show us the different spaces for the wedding. <laughs> it's so amazing that we're gonna marry in the stadium. Having the ceremony on the field, we're gonna have the cocktail hour in the locker room. Oh my God. That lid come yeah. off, you just like, look, basking in ambience. Oh. So cocktail hour. Yeah. Put cocktail hour here. Yes. And this is also the plan B for ceremony. So if it's hot, too, way too hot, or it's mm -hmm. rainy. Bar is gonna be in that far end. We'll have a food table in the middle. I called some friends in the industry after our talk and told them your story them how brave you guys have been and how incredible the Eagles organization has been to host this wedding. Throughout this whole experience, the Eagles have definitely treated us like family. Beyond just planning the ceremony itself, we're gonna take care of everything, basically. We did get Philip Gabriel photography to shoot your entire awesome. wedding. He is phenomenal, and you're gonna get a whole album and all of your images edited. Allure Films, providing all of your video at no cost to you guys. Oh my God. And then for you, my friend, we have a custom tux coming to you mm -hmm. from Saget's Formal Wear for you and the guys. You're gonna be outfitted in some really fine tuxedos or suits. You can kind of pick your style and what you sure. want, but we gotta get you there. Robertson's is doing your flowers. Yeah. We have Joseph. They are our cheerleaders, hair and makeup stylists. Yes. That is so cool. Yeah. And then entertainment, the DJ is Jason Jenai with SCE Entertainment. He is great. He did our Super Bowl party too. And we've worked <laughs> with him a couple of times. I mean, he's wonderful. Thank you guys. Yeah. I don't feel stressed like a normal bride would be during this time. The Eagles have like eliminated a lot of that stress. This is like the most amazing experience. Today, we're going to Alex's High School, and that's where we're going to be having the Kira Murray Memorial basketball game. The Kira Murray Memorial basketball game is very important to me and my family because it's how we keep our legacy alive. Akira was a huge basketball star at West Catholic. The game is an opportunity to celebrate Akira and all of her accomplishments, and really the way that she touched other young girls that were playing basketball with her. I remember her on the court, the school, the, the way she helped people, it was just amazing. She was so in touch with everybody in school, everybody. The girls that play in the game are basketball stars in their own right across Philadelphia in the Tri-State area. We picked those girls because they embodied the type of values, the type of drive that Akira had. Her legacy is forever in Philadelphia, forever in our high school at West Catholic. This game means everything. I gotta make sure it happens every year. The event is on a Saturday, 6 p.m. I think it's gonna be amazing. Uh, we got some good players. Patients helped us get some of the sponsors, so I think it's gonna be pretty good. Uh, this is going on our fourth year now, and your mom always come out with your dad. I like to make it personal for them, and we wanna remember her legacy. And this actually will be our second year giving a student a scholarship for college. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for showing us around. <laughs> When Alex talks about Kira, I can see so much joy in his heart. He talks about her every day. I just know that it's still painful for him to talk about her too. Moments like this, I really wish I had a chance to see her play and like see how she was in the court and stuff. It's just like... Yeah, I mean, I wish you could have saw her play too. We grew up in a household where our family's like, you got to get it. You got to get it right. Yeah, <laughs> tough enough. You're going to lose. You got to get it. We raised them to kind of just have each other's back all the time. So if one wasn't good in something and the other was, they carried each other. My dad telling you, like, run up and down the court. Get it together. That's different. You know, when your brother said, you like, I could probably beat my brother up if you push me too far. <laughs> you feel me? So that's how she developed that dog in there. 
when we used to punish them, we punished them together. Their time out when they would fight was to spend time together. So then they would trade on us <laughs> because they had to spend the day in the room together. And I think it made the bond inseparable. Alex saw that she had potential, so he started to, you know, focus more on her, and they worked together more. She just needed somebody to push her to the next level and play harder. He used to always take her to the basketball courts, and they would be out there from when the sun comes up to when the sun goes down. It was a couple times when I went out there with them, like we would play pickup games with like grown men, and she would just be out there killing it. And if she wasn't doing as good, you know, she would get frustrated and want to quit, and Alex just wouldn't let her. That's what pushed her to get better. He constantly pushed her to get better every single day. We didn't have the best in life, but we told them that they could achieve it, and that was their motivation to do better than us and to make us proud. Alex and I are shedding for the wedding, then all of a sudden, Rodney McLeod walks in. You look like you already got good technique, so you don't need my help. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! Thank you all for coming out and supporting our daughter and keeping her memory alive. Have a great wedding. All right. You guys are doing it right here, huh? Yeah, awesome. I love it. You look just like mom. I just want you to know I always got your back. I love you. I give you my life, my love, my loyalty. I love you, Alex Murray.